Today, we are doing a vaginal ultrasound on a lovely young woman in her early 20s. She's basically healthy, but she almost never has periods on her own. She has a little bit of hair growth along her jawline and on her tummy. Her blood tests are otherwise normal for diabetes and thyroid disease. This is diagnostic of a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. We are looking at this young lady's right ovary and can continue to go through it. This is the ovary. And these are the dozens and dozens and dozens of little cysts called follicles where eggs are growing, but getting frustrated and not continuing to grow. The inside of the ovary also has a white or what's called hyperechoic. Now here's the here's a area and this is a string of pearls right along here. In fact, the whole ovary has a string of pearls throughout it. And we see dozens and dozens of these little, what I call, baby eggs. In order to have polycystic ovarian syndrome, a woman needs to have two out of three conditions. One, and this is her other ovary, one, irregular ovulation. And since this woman almost never menstruates, she rarely ovulates. So she fulfills the first criterion. The second issue is does a woman have signs of high testosterone, uh, which includes hair growth, and that's it. And the third criterion, keep looking, Ken, is does she have polycystic ovaries on syndrome, uh, polycystic uh, ovaries on ultrasound? And this woman certainly does. Many, many, many of these follicles all around. And these are also big, generous ovaries. So there you go. Two, uh, this woman has all three criteria for polycystic ovarian syndrome. The diagnosis is almost a no-brainer. You can see our other videos on how we treat it with nutrition and medications. But the most important part of PCOS is getting the diagnosis correct. So here you have classic polycystic ovarian syndrome and a lovely young woman in her early 20s. This is Dr. Wilshire. Missouri Fertility, Columbia, Missouri.